Folks, uh, we're coming up on a deadline, not for the final stage of negotiations with Iran, but really uh, basically a deadline for an agreement that will take us to the next phase, which is a comprehensive agreement. So this is a framework agreement for a comprehensive agreement. Um, you know, this, all of these deadlines are pretty arbitrary, frankly. Uh, I think the reality is, is that obviously right now the Obama administration, as well as the present Iranian government, with the support of the Supreme Leader, clearly they want a deal to happen. So as long as you have this configuration of circumstances, which obviously is not infinite, you're going to keep seeing them plug away for a deal along with the P5 plus one uh, partners. So that said, we're coming up on a deadline, and obviously there's many people gunning to destroy this deal. Uh, we already know the fanatical opposition of uh, Netanyahu. We know the fanatical opposition of the Republicans. But Fox News hosted just a really special kind of stupid. I mean, you know, I'm used to hearing Louis Gohmert sound profoundly delusional and stupid talking about, I don't know, I mean, issues that obviously he knows nothing about and doesn't understand, but trying to get in on Iran negotiations, I mean, wow, that is really ambitious for a guy of his very limited capacity. And in fact, his capacity is so limited and his bloodlust so dimwitted that even this Fox News host is a little bit like, dude, what's going on with you? All right, let's listen to Louis Gohmert weigh in with a slower American's perspective on negotiations with Iran. The IEA will tell you you only need 3,000 to go from 5% to nuclear grade 90%. So we are already allowing them and it, with what we've conceded so far, to go all the way to, to full-blown nuclear. Congressman, are you for a deal with Iran? I mean, and, and, and if so, what are the components of that deal? Or is it possible a good deal with Iran and oxymoron, in Positive. your opinion? Well, I think it's Positive. it's going to... This is just a completely unfair question to ask Louis Gohmert. As someone who is very critical of Louis, makes fun of him a lot, I would never be so cruel as to ask, what would you expect in an Iran deal that you could support? I mean, that's just a cruel question to ask this man. There's no way he's going to be able to answer that in any way coherently. Shame on you, Fox News host. Very mean. Okay, keep playing it. Yeah, this administration is going to yield the same kind of deal that the Clinton administration did in Korea. And I understand mm. your, your points there, but I do mm. want to focus on Iran, and I ask yeah. you specifically, are you for a deal with Iran? Not when we don't have full information. We should never have pulled the uh, sanctions. They, they were co coming forward with more information, but until they gave us complete access to all their facilities, they, we should never Pause have it. pulled the sanctions. Now, there are uh, we have not pulled all sanctions at all on Iran. Most sanctions are still in place, and that's, of course, what they're negotiating about, along with having access to more of their facilities, although the IAEA already does have access to many of Iran's facilities, something I'm sure not only Louis Gohmert doesn't know, but has actually never even heard of. Okay, keep playing it. Some sanctions still in place, and so. uh, it, but you feel like they're not effective? No. Now, the, the, the leaders ah, of Iran of are saying, look, we're gonna, we are willing to cut a deal with you, but here's the deal. You have to lift the sanctions immediately. We'll, we, we don't want some sort of 10-year deal. We'll go for a seven-year deal mm -hmm. if you get rid of its sanctions immediately. Yeah, but um, originally, we were going to require complete dismantling uh, of the nuclear capabilities Positive. of this rogue nation. Never, never in the cards. I don't know why I'm correcting Louis Gohmert, but what the hell? All right, keep playing it. They are a terrorist uh, nation, a sponsor of terrorism, worst in the world. They should not have centrifuges spinning, and we're letting them continue to spin as we talk. Positive. How do you prevent that? What about still? Still centrifuges. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being cheeky. Okay, keep going. You st 
step up the sanctions full blown. And uh, I think maybe it's time to look at a plan to go in and bomb them. Because as Michael Oren once said, until Iraq, Iran believes that the U.S. is a credible threat to bomb them, so they're not stopped. Congressman, Pause. if the U.S. bombs Iran's... So in order to prove you're... I mean, that... I guess that does prove you're a credible threat to bomb somebody by bombing them because you're doing it. But I think he's putting the cart a little bit before the horse here. But anyways, go ahead. Nuclear facilities. Do you think Russia is going to stand by and let that ha happen? I don't think Russia is in a position to do anything. They're bogged down too many places. Pause it. Sorry again. I thought Russia was like a global threat to our security that Obama had completely let run amok. Now all of a sudden they're so bogged down that they can't even object to a nuclear fallout from our bombing of Iran, which is an ally of theirs? Well, comrade, huh? comrade Gomert, you're going to go on TV in America and tell them we are no threat. We, We've got way too many things going on. We, we are nothing. Our hands are full. They're tied. Our hands too bogged down. You mean they'll believe me, comrade? <laughs> they'll believe that we're not as powerful as they think we are? They will believe anything you tell them to believe. Well, I'll do it, comrade. <laughs> I mean, this is the Fox News audience we're talking to. They're very bright. Okay, let's finish this. You really don't think you think that uh, first of all that I mean that's very that's a volatile option there to yeah. go in and bomb Iran's nuclear facilities and you really believe that Russia will stop and say okay fine go for it I mean that that's a Look, dangerous bottom line Russia's concerned about radical Islamist terrorists oh. much more so than this administration Pause is it. they so now all of a sudden Russia is our ally against radical Islamist terrorism now again a couple of distinctions here they are an ally of Iran so they're not an ally against Iran. They have a, well, not exactly, I don't know, allies, but they have a perfectly good relationship with Iran. They are quite serious about, quote unquote, Islamic terrorism. We see that demonstrated through Russia's b brutal and horrific human rights abuses in Chechnya. But I guess they are also concerned about some jihadist groups. And I guess all of a sudden now, Louis back to uh, the pro-Russia side of the ledger. We obviously know that he's a deep cover Russian agent, but it's surprising to see him kind of let out such sympathy in public for the, for the great Russian bear. All right, let's finish this up. Don't want a radical Islamist nation with, with nukes. They're oh. not crazy over there in, in Russia. Okay, so we haven't discussed an actual plan because I'm sure it's v quite uh, complex. And so we don't have one on the table, not from you this morning either. But Well, I yeah, don't... I think that once ah. Iran realizes we're serious okay. about taking it out, they come to the table. Congressman Gomert, we leave it there. Thank you very Thank you. much. And we're back after this uh, break. Oh, oh, hold on, miss. I said when we, <laughs> when we drop bombs on their nukes, the first thing they'll do is come forward for a deal. Okay, there's a couple of reasons to pull this clip. One, because it's hilarious. Two, because it's incredibly hilarious and it's really easy to mock and we had limited prep time because Sam was ill. But three, the serious reason to pull this is that this Fox News host, who I'm sorry, I don't have her name in front of me, really should have her name. If you have it handy, Matt, let me know. Thank you. She is basically so blown away by how utterly incoherent, delusional, stupid, and barely cognizant of the most basic facts Louis Gohmert is that she can barely keep a straight face during this interview, even though her job is to basically pass the ball and set up layups for idiot ultra hawk congressmen like Louis Gohmert to try to destroy this deal. That's Fox's programming agenda. But he is so stupid and he is so incoherent that she can't keep a straight face. Well, guess what? Louis Gohmert's position is not different than the Israeli position. It's not different than all of the other hawks in Congress. It's not different from idiots that are still writing columns in the Washington Post saying, yeah, war with Iran's probably still the best option. The Fox host is Arthur Neville. 
Arthel, Arthel Neville? Arthel Neville. Arthel, okay, so Arthel Neville, to her credit, so overwhelmed by Louis Gohmert's robust and aggressive stupidity. But is she going to turn around and have Tom Cotton on? And just because Tom Cotton doesn't have this Elmer Fudd thing going on, he's going to be able to pretend to know what he's talking about. But when he says exactly the same thing, is she going to also cut him off with, well, yeah, you don't really have a plan. You're basically a delusional nutcase who wants a totally reckless and stupid war. Is she going to do that to him? Is she going to do that to Bill Crystal? Is she going to do that to George Will? Is she going to do that to, William, to Krothaumer? Is she going to do that to next time they play a BB quote or they interview BB? Probably not. So, great. Fox News saw how utterly stupid Louis Gohmert is. Louis Gohmert with less BS, articulated the same position that the rest of the people trying to destroy this deal have. And he was basically laughed out of the studio, as the rest of them should be. 